I'm Winona Howder. I'm very excited to be here at FAME. This is a vibrant and wonderful uh, place to be having this discussion about the real solutions in solving the world's water crisis. I've been working with the global water justice movement since the late 1990s and have been several at several of these uh, water global forums uh, protesting and saying that there's no consensus around the privatization of water or natural resources. The Sixth World Water Forum here in Marseille says that, uh, that their conference is about the time for solutions, but that's actually not the truth. That is an illegitimate space. They have no solutions. It's a trade show for the water industry to try to sell their products and services to governments. The real democratic space for talking about solutions is fame. Fame is the beginning of the mobilization for Rio, Rio Plus 20, which is going to happen in June. This is a very important movement for the, for, or, this is a really important moment for the water justice movement because we must be prepared to deal with what's going to happen in Rio and their promotion of what they call the green economy. It's really a greenwashed economy where they're promoting very unsustainable technologies like fracking for natural gas, where they're saying that uh, emissions trading for carbon and for water pollution is the solution. Today, I was part of a very exciting workshop on stopping fracking. Fracking is a, a, a new technological process that goes very deep into the ground as far as six to eight kilometers down straight and then horizontally. It uses large amounts of water, sand, and deadly chemicals like benzene and tooling that are carcinogenic to uh, um, drill for natural gas. At this workshop, there were people from all around the world who were fighting this, including the activists from Spain um, or from France who have uh, successfully been able to uh, ban this technology for now. Activists from Poland, from Spain, uh, and other locations, Ireland, the U.S. And it's, uh, the, we can see once again the water justice movement coming together to fight this technology. This afternoon I was part of a workshop uh, that was all about Rio and the negotiations over climate change. We're very concerned in the U.S. because one of the things that the corporations are now promoting is trading of emissions for water pollution. This is a totally unsustainable uh, practice. They want to do the same thing that they have for carbon and allow factories and the, um, the industrial facilities that pollute to use offsets from giant factory farms that grow chickens uh, so that they could buy those allowances and continue to, uh, to pollute. It's like having a license to pollute and it's, a, um, it's one of the things in the green economy that we're very concerned about. We're also very concerned to see uh, companies like Monsanto uh, joining with agribusiness to grow energy crops in the global south in places like Brazil. This is no solution to our energy use. What we really need to do is conserve energy, have real sustainable renewable energy, and begin to grow food more locally and more sustainably. We don't need corporations uh, coming together to try to figure out how to make money from green technologies. What we need is a real solution for the future that's based on what's good for people, not what's uh, profitable for corporations.